Hail Satan! Praise the devil! Pray to Satan, pray to Satan, pray to Satan. This is a story all about how a guy named Pete overcame anorexia, and then he ate like shit and got testicular cancer. Fuck you! So, it's pretty obvious why I chose to do this video on Furious Pete, but before all of you dumb fanboys call me a skinny prick who doesn't even lift, look, here, bicep shot at the beginning of the video. Yeah, does it look like I don't even lift? Shut up! There's a lot of, um, a lot of proof that we should be eating meat. Our bodies are, we grew up eating meat, and that's how thousands of thousands of years we, that's how we grew up, eating meat. And there was no vegetarians back then because meat was how you survived, how you were able to live. That's why we had these sharp teeth. Yep, Pete is one of those idiots who makes appeal to nature fallacies and comes up with bullshit excuses to eat meat, along with just being a general all-around prick by making fun of animal cruelty. But all of that just makes him a stupid asshole. What really puts him in the retard category is this. If you were offered a billion dollars, would you go vegan for the rest of your life? Another money question. That's a shit ton of money. That's a tough question. I'm like 50-50 on this. Really, Pete? You'd have a hard time becoming vegan for a billion dollars? Having the lowest risk of obesity and related chronic diseases isn't worth a billion dollars to you? But eating a fucking pound of butter for a bit of YouTube cash is? And I present to you guys a more favorable food for Furious. Last time we did watermelon and she just wasn't really a fan. Oh, well, what the hell is this, Pete? You said humans are natural meat eaters. You've got a fresh dog right next to you. Why don't you tear into that? Why are you eating this piece of steak that's being cooked and seasoned? Don't you want to sink your fangs into some live flesh? And apparently Pete has a degree in engineering. Well, tell me this, Pete. Uh, do our mouths look suitable for ripping through flesh and bone? That's why we have these sharp teeth. If you know me, if you follow me, if you just don't follow my r crazy antics uh, on YouTube that I do once in a while, then you'll know my diet is pretty damn sound. You'll know that I like to eat healthy. You know that I follow every... I, I work out and I have a healthy diet and I drink a shit ton of water and all this other stuff. So don't go ahead and say that I got cancer because of my fucking diet. I got my protein sources. The essential thing to building any muscle, whether you are cutting or bulking. I got a steak here, very lean. I got egg whites and whole eggs. I wouldn't be afraid of using a little bit of bacon once in a while. Um, Fat in here isn't necessarily as good as other fats from healthy sources, but it's still not too bad. A lot of people that are cutting uh, and trying to lose weight think that fat makes you fat. That is not true. Last but certainly not least is the dairy section. A lot of people want to limit this and just eliminate it altogether. I think dairy is very important. Well, uh, if you consider any of those foods health foods, I think I know why you got cancer. Fat actually has a lot of energy within it, and it actually promotes a lot of natural testosterone building. Oh, high fat foods build testosterone, huh? Is that why you're eating pure butter and guzzling oil? Cause I'm pretty sure you're just stupid. The tiny increase in testosterone levels that eating these high fat foods can sometimes cause has absolutely no benefit on building muscle mass and on the large population scale we see absolutely no correlation between increased saturated fat and cholesterol intake and available androgen levels. So great job Pete, you're just increasing your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Well, I guess the cancer already happened, didn't it? I enjoy certain things and in my opinion, eating lean meats, um, eating complex carbs, some fats, eggs, all that other stuff, isn't bad for you. And there's a lot of a lot of proof out there that says that it is good for you. Meanwhile, there's always going to be proof out there that says it's bad for you, and it's always going to be a big clusterfuck of fucks, controversial messages back and forth of this being good, that being good, this being good, that being good. There's so many controversial messages. There's too much out there on the internet, there's too much science. There is too much science. Furious Pete. Oh, 
So, conflicting research is the reason why you still eat meat, huh? Well, you don't really seem like the kind of guy who knows much about nutrition or reads up on the medical literature, so I'd really like your explanation as to why the top nutrition experts in the entire world, including President of the American College of Cardiology, Dr. Kim A. Williams, are vegan and promote Whole Foods vegan diets for the prevention of our most common chronic diseases. Is there so much conflicting research that you have to eat tons of meat and animal products every single day, along with doing these ridiculous eating stunts and even making a joke out of animal suffering? I don't see much conflicting research here, but what I do see a lot of are apathetic idiots who are trying to make up dumb excuses for their bad habits. That's why we have these sharp teeth. There was a good amount of people that went ahead and messaged me stating I need to become a vegan. And that I got cancer because I am not a vegan. You'll know that I like to eat healthy, you know that I follow every... I, I work out and I have a healthy diet and I drink a shit ton of water and all this other stuff. So don't go ahead and say that I got cancer because of my fucking diet. That's just retarded and you simply are uneducated. And how could I end this video without first talking about Pete's testicular cancer? Pete has the opinion that a vegan diet has little to no protective effect against cancer risk, but Pete's opinion doesn't really count for shit. Vegans have the lowest IGF-1 levels of any diet group, which lowers our cancer risk. Vegans eat the lowest amount of sulfur-containing amino acids, including methionine, which again, lowers our cancer risk. Vegans have diets low in branched-chain amino acids, including leucine, which slows down the mammalian target of rapamycin pathway, which not only slows down aging, but also stops cancer cell growth. Vegans don't eat cooked meat, which contains carcinogens known as heterocyclic aromatic amines. Vegans don't eat any heme iron, which again lowers our cancer risk. Vegans don't consume any exogenous estrogens from dairy, which again lowers our cancer risk. Vegan blood is eight times less hospitable to cancer cells than those following a standard American diet. And the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever conducted found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians. And what dietary variable has the highest correlation to testicular cancer? Dairy, particularly high-fat cheese! So Pete, do you think maybe, just maybe, there's a teeny tiny chance that your shitty fucking diet caused your cancer? Maybe if somebody offers you a billion dollars to go vegan, you should just take that money rather than being a fucking idiot! Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate from Furious Pete fans, them calling me a jealous hater, but Pete epitomizes why I made this Worst of the Fitness Industry series. Not only does his diet promote chronic disease, which very likely caused his testicular cancer, but worst of all, he supports animal cruelty. These videos I make aren't about hating on anyone, they're about exposing these morons so that you guys don't follow in their footsteps and don't end up getting sick, ending up dead, and most importantly, it's about ending animal suffering. So if any of you are interested in becoming as healthy as you possibly can be, if you don't want to get some horrible disease like Pete, and if you don't want to be a pathetic idiot who needlessly supports suffering, then go make some vegan gains. <laughs> What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. Derp, 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 derp.